Yo, what's going on guys? Fusions VG back again with another video. I know it's been a while and this feels really weird to me for because it's been a while but not just that. This is the first video I've done in God knows how long when I haven't actually got a headset on but this is more of a tutorial video. Um, recently I, me and my brother uh, Carl or Mobius have uh, decided to make our own GTA 5 5M RP server. Uh, link will be in the description of this video if you do want to join that server. But um, in creating that server, I've had to go through a lot of trial and error where adding things like uh, cars, ve uh, yeah, vehicles, guns, uh, places in the actual game. So after a, a big look online, um, I found out sort of what I was doing, but it wasn't necessarily as easy as I thought it would be. So I decided now to quickly make a video just to sort of explain to you how to get um, the different sort of file formats and everything like that. So as you can see, I've got two different uh, file explorers here. This is a Audi Q5, the 17 plate. And I downloaded this car uh, mod and it literally the folder come like this. So you've got your vehicles dot meta, handling dot meta, car variations dot meta, car calls dot meta, and underscore underscore resource dot lua file. Uh, also, you've got your stream file. These are not just well with the beginning. So it's audsq five one seven. That's what you use to spawn the car in. But you've got different file types. So these file types are not just the car, but they're also the car textures. Um, if you end up messing up the file, then it really doesn't work too well. Um, I've currently got a car on the server. It's a Rolls Royce Wraith, I think it is. And I completely messed it up. This was when I was still never doing it. Um, and the re uh, no, sorry, the textures are completely messed up. Uh, the headlights flash purple every now and then. The chrome trim goes purple every now and again. It's crazy. I have got to sort it, but. It's just one of those so right some files you get literally like this then other files you get like great oh is it in there? yeah there we go uh dlc.rpf what is it two seconds uh right yeah you get devo of course i've deleted that one as well one in here files yeah there we go get the DLC dot uh, RPF right so what you want to do with this if you do get one of these files you need a program called open IV uh, that just reads the data so you can actually export it so we'll open it up like that and then that should then hold open a uh, open IV there we go starting I'll leave a link to this program in the video description as well also, while we're waiting, uh, I hope everyone is doing well uh, with this whole coronavirus and lockdown bullshit. This is literally the only reason I'm saying creating this server. So right, you open it up and then you've got data, x64, content and setup 2.xml. So what you need to do is go into the data, you need to copy these files here, which as you can see I've already done. And then go back, go into X64 vehicles, and then you've got the A45 AMG. You've got the A45 AMG the underscore high. But then this one here, this is where I was on about. This is the texture file. If you don't include that, then it's fucked. So what you need to do with these files, you need to basically the best thing to do is create a new folder in in the existing file path copy the files in so those are the files that were in the data folder and then you need to then make a new folder called uh, stream and that's where you need to put your yft yf their uh, ytd and yft files but also I'll tell you what we're going to do i'm going to give you a proper walkthrough of what we actually have to do here um i shall leave a website there no sorry not website i shall leave the link to this website in the video description also I haven't re recorded a video in so long. The one time I've recorded it and there's a fucking car alarm going off. There we go, it's gone. Right, so yeah, I'll leave a link to this website in the description. It's where we've got a couple of our uh, modified cars from. 
Uh, what do I want? What do I want? Is it called that I think it jeez. Oh, oh I think I'm downloading. No, that's depressing. Oh, I haven't got a downloading. Oh, oh actually if there's an old school mini, I'll download that. Nope. Why is it? Every car I've looked for, I've found. But now that I'm doing a video, I can't get one. And there we go. A uh, Inspec Integra Type R. So right, what you want to do, click the download link. Hopefully this doesn't take me to a Chinese website. No, it doesn't. So then, when you've got the download link, it takes you to a website uh, which is hosting it. So it's most commonly gta5-mods.com. So then what you want to do is click download. Click download again. And then click open file. You will need a, a program that reads raw files. For me, I have uh, 7-zip two seconds on my other monitor and then there we go it's here so what I'm going to do you've got a readme file and then some website links and a Chinese file what I'm going to do is just extract the folder where the mod actually is uh, but I already have a location sorry you will have to mine all my files they're sort of everywhere at the minute uh, was, there we go Press OK, that's now extracted so we can close that. Reopen File Explorer. And we go to uh, 5M, my server mod, cars. And then it's DC5, I think it was. Right, so what you want to do, click on that and then you get met with a dlc.rpf file. So double click that so then that opens. Again, the program does take a while to load, but Get in there slowly but surely. There we go, loading data. Right, so then what you want to do is then in the root folder, you want to go make a new folder. Uh, you can call this folder whatever you want, just make sure it's very memorable, as then you need to do something else server side. So we're just going to call it, uh, we're just going to call it video. Sure. No, actually, no, no, just in case that message has anything on the server. Uh, video. Uh, video car there we go also you do need to make sure that you don't put any spaces or um, any capitals in the actual uh, folder name as that I don't understand why but that doesn't work so right what we want to do we've come in here we've got the meta XML files so then you want to select all of those drag them all up so they're now dropped then what you want to do press new folder call this one stream Go back to open IV, go back, x64, vehicles.rpf, and you want to, no, nope. want to select these two files, copy those over to stream, just go in there, double check, yep. And then you also want to make sure that you get the texture one, because if not, you're in for a bad time. So, right, that's now in there, but there's one other thing that you do need, um, it's underscore underscore resources.lua. Now, I'm too lazy to make my own because it's just time consuming and I'm making a video so what we will do uh, just gonna find a file that's already got one there we go and then I already know this car works so I know that's gonna be okay paste that into here and there we go the uh, sorry there we go that's now uh, balled up so now what we're going to do is close this close that then you're going to need, well, this is all for server purposes, so if you own a server or if you've got rights to add a car into the server, that's basically what this video is actually for. Um, so then what you want to do is go into a FTP client, I use Fallzilla, and then you want to connect to um, your server. All this is going to be greyed out for the simple fact that I don't want anyone going onto my server, but yeah, uh, you have to go, it all depends on who your server server is hosted with you're gonna have different files to me but i just know how to get there there we go mines and resources i think all the servers all the 5m servers actually do have a resources file 
if that works out then what we're going to do uh, go back into I shouldn't have closed this window thinking about it right so then we've got this there and then it's in there DC5 video car so then what you want to do then drag the video car onto the resources folder that will then start copying over but we're not actually finished just yet right oh one more thing to transfer right so there we go uh right now what you want to do i won't do it in there uh i know it's called video car so i'm not gonna look i'm copying the name or anything like that but one thing we are going to do just give me two seconds so i can move it to a different monitor so i don't give away my logins what you're going to have to do now is open up your um, hosting site so you can get into the server settings and things like that. Uh, give me two seconds because I've got captures to do for some unknown fucking reason. Pain of my existence, these are. There we go. Again, I don't know how other servers work. My server is currently hosted via uh, Zap Hosting. Um, so I don't actually know if this method that I'm currently doing works with all servers. I know that you have to initialize the current thing in the config file, but I don't know how to get to the config file on different uh, server hosters for the simple fact. Again, I just use this one. Uh, right, so there we go, we are now in. Just trying to think. Yeah, my IP is there. I'm not, I'm not gonna put, go away, I don't want it. feedback. I'm not just going to put it on just yet because my IP and everything's on it here. Right. Configs. Go away. I don't want to give feedback. Right. I'll now drag this over where I will blur out certain parts. So my IP address and things like that. And then you'll be met with this file here. The server.cfg file. So what you want to do, open this. Again, this is going to look totally different for you. Uh, this is mine and my brother's custom one. Uh, do, do, do. There we go, these are all cars. So right, what you want to do, you want to make a new line, uh, type in start, space, and then the name of the folder. So the name of the folder that I've just installed was video car. So there we go, that's now in. Um, you want to click save. There we go. And then what you want to do again, this is just with Zap hosting, I'm not sure um what everyone else is like, but then you need to restart your server. There we go, it's currently being restarted. Or there we go been restarted also what you want to make sure that you do is um, go into go into the car that you just added to the server which was the DC5 for me video car stream and you want to do, uh, note down that uh, whatever it says before the YFT so mine says DC5 so that will be what I then need to type in to spawn that vehicle in game um, but I'm not actually going to be able to show you me spawning in the car or anything like that because my I'm already on my computer will not tolerate running that and also recording at the same time. So what I might do now is uh, close the record, no, stop the recording, sorry, and then just take some phone footage or something like that, or just uh, take some screenshots in game. But I will soon be back as soon as obviously. I've done that so I'll see you in a sec. Right so disregard everything I've just said as you can see I'm currently playing and it's sort of running stable. Uh, I can I'm looking at myself uh, looking at myself sorry now in real time I can't see no issues. If there is any I do apologize. So anyway right we go to this is using V menu by the way so we I have my key to set to M. So then you go to vehicle related options Vehicle spawner, spawn vehicle by uh, model name, as was DC5, so spawn 9. I'll take a while to load. And then, there we go. 
don't know why I've spawned outside of the car. That's a bit different. But yep. Oh, there we go, my game's crashed. There we go. Five of them's crashed. That was fun. But yeah, hopefully I you actually saw the car spawning, so you know whether it works. But yeah, uh, as I said at the, at the beginning of the video, I shall leave a link to my server and also the Discord server for the game server. I said server too many times. But yeah, hopefully I hope this video has actually helped people out in understanding how to add vehicles and things like that to their own custom 5M server. If you did, leave a like. If you're new here but you enjoy the content that I produce, press the big red subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.